It's been a while since we visited Arrow Collective's super thin wallets. I have their Boost wallet, which is arguably the successor to the original Razor wallet. So let's get into it. Need a boost, buddy. Your car won't start. Arrow Collective Stealth Boost. Let's see what we've got here. Open this thing up. Ooh, so we're running into that. This is a pretty tight little collar here. Let's pull that off. All right, tissue paper. Hmm. Oh, here we go. And this is in the granite color, which I really quite like. We'll talk about how these are a bit offset. It does contribute, if you haven't already figured out, to the slim factor that they advertise with this. And so here we go. I mean, this really is. The claim is it's strong and slim, and there are some changes to this from the original, which we've uh, talked about before. And it also comes in obsidian, which is black, and Tahoe. Mm-hmm. Nothing on the exterior. If we go to the interior, we have two interior card slots. This one with an ID window. There is no material here, which is fine with me. I think any kind of material there for ID windows is all, is just generally a bad idea. And of course, both have the ability to push cards out with your thumbs. And interior billfold strap right here with this little pull tab on the bungee cord. Good idea, something that uh, was has been introduced since its original version. With this wallet, it's hard to keep it closed. There's nothing in there. But when it's closed, its measurements is 3.9 by 3 by 0.5. And it weighs, get this, 10 grams. Very, very light. It seems super simple, but it's how it was constructed and the design that makes it so thin. So keep watching. Of course, every time I leave it, it'll open up like this. Four cards, five slips of cash. Company recommends up to eight cards and up to six notes. I have five in here. Now, US and Australian currencies, Canadian is a little snug, even though the company doesn't say it supports the euro. I think they do. Uh, they only spilled out just a little bit, but you can see the kind of spacer we have on the top and bottom here. The company indicates they're working on other models, which can address more currencies that will provide the same level of space like the US dollars. We're talking about space from top and bottom here, which I think is quite nice. This is designed in the United States and made in China. The website says the United States. The insert says China. I'm not sure which is which. It's made from two laser cut pieces of fabric sewn together uh, with the interior and interior pieces. This is RFID material right here, and it also provides structural support. With just this material, it is very, very thin. And it's hydrophobic, means it repels water and moisture, it's abrasion resistant, tear resistant, and uh, like Arrow's original Stealth Wallet, which is built using a material that is 15 times stronger than, this, than steel fibers, this has the same kind of idea. Now, this, uh, this bungee strap right here for cash, let me get there for us to see, ta-da. Is this cash loop? Very easy to get cash in and out. Uh, the pull tab here really is what was needed, and this is a very, very strong bungee loop. Uh, they've had tests on this where they've just you know, thousands of times uh, using it. Not only that, but having a lot of uh, testing with a very sharp implement it takes a long time to really snap that. So you're really not going to see this uh, snapping over continuous use for quite a while. Arrow has gone to great lengths to ensure the materials they use are of the highest quality and that manufacturing happens in the United States where it can. Now, this is priced for $68. Boo! And you can see how it just continues to do that. From a usability perspective, the design of the wallet contributes to the thinness of the overall design. If I take this cash out here, I can show you exactly what we're talking about. You can see as cards are put in here, they're offset. And this happens with vertical as well as bifolds in this regard. By having them offset just a bit, you're redistributing the thickness across the wallet. Same thing happens when you have vertical uh, card wallets, which I'll show you another time. Now, different from the Stealth, the Booster uses a one-of-a-kind proprietary custom-milled textile material. It has a great texture to it, but it's not rough. Just good tactile uh, that you'd expect with something like this from a material or textile perspective. Offset card slots and bungee cord pull tabs were a huge improvement on the usability of this wallet. So, now on to the final score. For quality of 5, price at 3, features of 3, usability of 4, perception of 4. That gives us a great score, 4 out of 5. Now, how do you think I kept this closed? Well, tape, of course. And that's how you get the thinnest wallet I've ever seen. If you like this video, then watch this one next. 
and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.